back with the next video and nvidia just recently announced and released a broadcasting app so as you guys know recently nvidia came out with this app that's called rtx voice so basically that rtx voice app takes out all the background noise out of your background and just focuses it on your voice so that is basically what i'm using right now as my audio input and has been i've been using it for the past couple of months and trust me it changed my production of my video so i'm you're getting crispier audio from me and all those stuff so i really thanks i really i really want to thank nvidia for that so today i'm going to check out their nvidia broadcasting app so in this video i'm going to show you how to download it and all those fancy stuff so right away you're going to want to check your system requirements so here you can see the gpu needed is nvidia geforce rtx 2060 or a quadro rtx 3000 or a titan rtx or higher you also need 8 games of ram or higher um cpu recommended is intel i5 800 no 8006 8600 amd ryzen r5 second gen or higher so also you're gonna need um nvidia display driver the version 556.38 or higher and you're gonna need internet that you're gonna need internet during the installation not all the time but during the installation so first thing you guys want to go over is the gpu to check your gpu real quick you're just going to click on task manager search up task manager in your start menu and you're just going to go and go to performance and click on your gpu and you should see the name of your gpu right there you should see nvidia or whatever you're using definitely you're going to need an nvidia card but it must be um to the second gen rtx or the quadro or the titan it all has to be those higher end graphics card from nvidia so you guys need to check that out first you can see the gpu memory and all those stuff and you can check your ram right away also and see how much gigs of ram you have here i have 16 but i need 8 gigs of ram to run this software so for my processor i can also check my processor right away i'm using the third generation of ryzen which came out last year summer or so so i'm pretty up to date and for the driver that's where things might get messy you guys might be watching this video because you're not your your app is not installing and this could be the reason why because you didn't upload you didn't download the latest version of the nvidia driver so you're gonna go to geforce experience just type that on your computer computer you should have it download and you should see the latest update right there so here you can see that is exactly the update that i needed so if i try to up um download this before i even try to um try to update my thing i'm pretty sure that wouldn't install at all so i'm gonna download it real quick so downloading it and uh, depends on your internet speed it should take some time but my internet speed is pretty fast so it's gonna done in a couple of seconds so i might have to restart it so i might have to continue this video guys so let's pause right here for now so while i'm here talking guys i just want to say you're gonna want to hit express installation unless you want to do some customization installation but for me i just want to do express installation also wait nvidia you have a chance to either make nvidia go towards performance or for like gaming so for me i'm more of like a studio guy so i choose to go the studio way instead of the gaming way so click on express installation hit yes and this might prompt me to restart my computer i'm not sure but it is preparing the installation this might take some while i'm not sure how long it's gonna take but while we wait i'm just gonna talk to you guys about this app so this app it is said to be like a a app that use ai really good same like how they are using ai right now on the rtx voice to take out the background noise they're gonna use that in 
this software i'm guessing they're gonna put that also in this software since it's gonna be camera and all those stuff so it's gonna be for like gamers or even now if you're like a professor and want to do some cool stuff with your camera you can take out your black ground without a green screen but i'm pretty sure that all depends on how good your camera is and how well lit your camera your your background is and your foreground is because the camera is going to need to know what is what so i'm guessing if you have a crappy camera then it's not going to do that great of a job but in the demo you can see it did a good job but that is the demo so they want to show that it they want to show the demo at its best so i want to test that out for you guys i'm not sure if i'm going to test it out in this video but i think i will be testing out in this video but as i said that's basically it they add some other microphone stuff and all those stuff but that is basically it guys okay so after the installation you're gonna go ahead and hit download since your drivers are now up to date so just hit download it should take a couple seconds um for me it's a couple seconds because i have xfinity which is a good internet and then you're just gonna want to hit open real quick and hit yes and let it do thing real quick and that should go by real fast nvidia broadcast and then after that it is going to do some checking system compatibility and that should take some time for it to check so right after it's done i'll be right back guys so this is going to go by for a quick time that's for you but for me i have to just sit and wait so i'll be here all right guys so what i realized that it is gonna remove my rtx voice so if you hear a difference in the audio and all those stuff it is because i switch over from the rtx file so you guys should be hearing a big difference you should be in a lot of noise in the background all those stuff but i'm guessing it's gonna be integrated in this app right now so there won't be any more nvidia voice features so here it is nvidia voice features have been migrated to nvidia broadcast during installation the old nvidia voice application will be removed from your system automatically so i'm just gonna go ahead and hit continue Hapsep license and all those stuff removing it is installing and all those stuff and we should be up and running real quick i don't think i'm gonna do like a um tutorial on how to use it and all those stuff i think i'm just gonna make a, this video be how to download it and stuff and make a next video and how to install it and all those stuff i'm pretty sure you guys are hearing a lot of noise in my mic right now but sorry about that guys just bear with me but i'm guessing as i said this software is mostly for like gamers and all those people who are working from home at the moment and all those stuff but all this is AI technology that is artificial intelligence and I can see Nvidia is really pushing it because they're just a graphics card company so they're really pushing it right now and they're doing a great job they did a great job with the voice features so I'm pretty pretty excited to see what they are doing with the video is the video as good as the voice because a lot of software out there are actually denoisers but they don't actually work but the nvidia voice actually work somebody could be clapping in the background and that won't be picking up so here it is it's gonna want me to restart on all those stuff so this is this um this recording is gonna end so i'll start a new recording when i'm back from restarting so you guys gonna want to click on restart so restart now all right guys so it is pretty much installed now i restarted my computer on all those stuff so it is definitely working so i'm just going to click on it real quick and i also went ahead and add my my noisy mover again to my microphone so it is working and you can see you can do speaker denoise camera denoise and all those stuff but that is in beta so i'm going to leave those stuff for our next video but that's all i have to say for this video guys thank you guys for watching hope this video helped you out and i'll see you guys in my next video
peace.